Okay, welcome back in the Optiva room made possible by our Keystone sponsor. Uh, at this time uh, of the summer, the whole world is looking into Japan and so are we. So I'm really happy to introduce a new speaker uh, that I've met, not met before. He's a staff for Python uh, JP and an application developer at CMSCom. Uh, please welcome uh, Yoshi Takai. Hello. Hello. Thank and you you're coming introducing. you're coming in directly from Japan so we must have a big lag. <laughs> yes, sure. Oh, it's perfect. So what's what's the time where are you where you are? Uh it's now uh, 17:30. Oh, okay. So it's it's like a late talk and it's an early talk for us. Uh <laughs> you want you want to talk about statistic uh, statically typed python? So uh, please share your slides, and the stage is yours. Sure. OK, hi. Thanks for introducing. Uh, let's start my talk. My talk title is Getting Started with Statically Typed Programming in Python 3.10. Uh, I'm nervous that uh, it's talk after, about Ma after Mac, <laughs> but I, I really enjoy. OK. Sorry. Uh, it's prologue. Uh, let me introduce myself. Before the presentation, my presentation, please note that this slide is uploaded. Uh, you can see it via QR code or chat, chat link. And chat, chat room is conference one of Jibar. Uh, if you have a combined or a conference ticket, you can see or you can write it. And uh, PEP8 styles in sample codes are some ignored uh, due to space limitations. Sorry for hard to see. OK. My name is Yoji Takai, but uh, please call me just Peacock. OK. And Twitter and Facebook. Uh, GitHub link is here, here ID. And I'm attending from Japan. Now it's 17.30 in Japan standard time. Thank you for considering our time zone. Uh, my favorite is music, uh, mostly it's classical music, and skiing, and gadgets, gadgets also. I'm uh, I'm working at CMSCOM full time since 2020 June. We are the only company in Japan that uses Prone, so we are Prone's company. I'm I in addition to my work, uh, I'm also involved at the PyCon JP Association and Prone JP. Uh, a member of Prone JP as a Yes, it's a prone users group in Japan. We created a short video for introducing prone 6 and just today published. You can see it via this URL. And uh, I'm an operating member of PyCon JP Association. Uh, I'm staff of PyCon JP 2020 and 2021. I'm, I'm also Director, a uh, director of PyCon JP TV. It's a YouTube live about PyCons and local events uh, here once a month. Okay, this is today's topic. First, I will explain why I talk about typing. And second, introduction of typing how to write basically. Uh, it's I want to most I, I most want to say topic. And next, generics and uh, user defined types. It it is included best practices. Okay, and first I will talk about updates overview and backward compatibility for 3.9 or before. And last is 
a bit difficult. Uh, it's an overview of new features on 3.10. Okay. Uh, thanks for YouTube TV, YouTube channels <laughs> comments about comments. Okay. Uh, first, I will talk. Uh, I, I will explain my motivation. Uh, it's uh, for talking. Uh, this is uh, to get the word uh, in out coherent way. It's uh, been five years since appears Python 3.5 uh, at 2015, uh, since Tapia appeared. Uh, since this, uh, several big peps were adapted and updated over the years. Even now, uh, uh, I think many people don't know where to start uh, because, because there is little coherent information. Okay, these are topics I will not talk about. Uh, such as uh, developing library with typing, uh, configurations of MyPy, how to use typing in CI. Uh, for example, uh, GitHub Action, Cycle CI, and more. And history of typing, uh, implementation, of typing at MyPy, and also abstract syntax tree. Okay, let's take a look how to actually start typing. First, uh, let's look at what typing can you for do. Yes, I think there is three benefits. Three benefits. First, it knows typing knows the types when you reference it in, it in the editor. And second, uh, typing gets angry when I, I or you try to give it the wrong one. Last, uh, the computation will work when accessing the return value of a function using dot. This is a minimal example. With our typing hint, uh, type hint, we don't know the type of return value. Yes, so it is any. If it if try to pass to int the function, it will uh, it will occur an error, but we don't know this like this. How about this case? It looks like a STR. Uh, return value is also STR. Yes. And the, edit the editor can test the argument is wrong. Yes, like this. Without typing, uh, can't, the editor can't tell but with typing, can't tell. And more, there are advantages to call review. Uh, with a type hint, uh, reviewer can't know return value from reading the definition function definition, like this. Yes, it's brought. As a result, uh, many people may have had these experiences. However, uh, typing may take the review processes more smoothly. Yes, we can know that uh, the argument uh, return value type is takes me three type of value, three type kind. Yes, let me fix it. Okay, uh, let's start typing 
with functions definitions. After the after the arguments, argument definitions, write colon and type. After after the colon at the end of function definition, write an arrow with hyphens and write a type. That's all. Okay, now let's take a look at the types can be used in practices. Okay, there is there are five types built-ins: where, bytes, float, int, and str. Uh, you don't need to do anything to use them. Yes, no, no need, no need to import. And also, none is used for functions that return nothing. Yes, that also uh, nothing import. And if you want to escape from the from complex type puzzles, uh, you can use any. This is final result. <laughs> yes, uh, it can hold instance of any type. Of course, uh, it's better not to use it. Import uh, if use it, using it. Uh, import use. Uh, import and use from typing when it is necessary. There is standard collections in GenX. There is uh, five, also five, five types standard standard collections. There are dict, uh, frozen set, list, set, and tuple. Uh, these collections can be written with square bracket for type inside. It's a uh, it it can use uh, three point nine and later only. And if you use three point seven or three point eight, please write the this statement from uh, from the future import annotations. Uh, so. Uh, of course, uh, I will explain uh, after this. For use using 3.6, uh, import annotations starting with uppercase letters from typing module. Until uh, 3.8, it was from typing. Now it's duplicated. So it may be uh, recommended for small case, lower case. For data built-ins, start with lower case without doing anything. Yes, there's no need import statement, such as list tuple. Uh, start with, not that, start with small case, lower case. For corrections, uh, for example, Q default dict, uh, import modules start with corrections and iterable, callable, and protocol related items import modules start with corrections.apc. And regular expressions is available from array, and correct context related items are available in context lib. Yes, uh, it is importing for its duplicate since C point nine. Uh, but until C point nine, you had to write from typing import uh, dict such, such as dict dist. Yes, so since C point nine. No more need this import statement. It's a uh, happy.
There are many types in collections.abc. Although it's unlikely that you will use them, use these uh, in fine graded way, it's better to choose a collection with few methods as, mes as, as possible to increase portability. The next figure shows the relationship the between collections.abc and sequence of built-in types defined by method inclusion uh, as a uh, implementation inheritance. It is a good it's it a good idea to look at the method used in your functions and choose the return types of the left side of the diagrams uh, as much as possible. Okay, this is this is the diagram. The further of the left you go, left you go, uh, the fear method it has to the right side, opposite side, uh, the more method it has. Uh, for example, uh, if you want to loop over the sequence of arguments in function, you can use collections.abc.itable here. If you need random access, uh, use sequence here. Uh, if you need uh, change the value, use a type. Use a type. Start with mutable. Uh, such as this, this, and this. Or uh, if you simply specify this as the argument type, you will not be able to pass, set, or addict. In particular, uh, it is better not to, the, to set concrete types, uh, such as this tuple. Uh, just because you are familiar to use them. However, uh, I think it is easier to understand using these concrete types. Yes, because you are familiar. Uh, and after you confirm, sorry. So you may want to apply fast uh, these concrete types. Uh, after you confirm that there are use fewer operators, fewer operators uh, and methods, uh, you may want to gradually move to the left side, left side of the types. It's a great inheritance tree, method inheritance tree, and it is the difference between tuple and other sequences. I think uh, many Pythonists don't know about this. Tuples are fixed up the length information. Spe please specify the type of the number of elements. And uh, or you can use mixed type, mixed tuple, such as like this. There is an uh, int three type three type uh, in tuple a sequence such as list has the same constraint same constraint from for all elements in the element can be regardless of the length of length sequence by setting one element Next, uh, there are a few other ones to type. At first is union. It's module type. Uh, it can be represented by vertical bar since 3.10. Yes, it is 3.10 style. Uh, you've probably seen it Haskell or TypeScript. 
and uh, top half code is a function that accepts both integer or float uh, return types is also int or float. And bottom code is uh, run is union object can be tested for equality with other union object. Yes, uh, these brackets, these brackets are uh, ignored, flattened, and uh, redundant types are removed. This int are uh, ignored, removed, and the order is ignored. And last, uh, convertible with typing dot union. 3.10 style is here. Before 3.9 style is here. As next is optional. It is a generic type uh, for uh, shorthand. It is shorthand uh, equivalent to union with now. Yes, uh, behaves just like union, like this. If you use uh, it in function return value or something, uh, it will propagate. Uh, but uh, it's very useful, but so be careful how to use it. Uh, this is a reason of this. Avoid using optional as much as possible. Optional is uh, useful, of course useful, but causes code blot. Uh, when you up the function, uh, you might the answer got uh, return now. As a result, uh, we need to write a guard to the previous or uh, outside method, method uh, outside of this method, uh, which reduces readability, um, but it, it is not good. In this case, uh, in my opinion, it will be cleaner to raise a runtime error, yes, because uh, the cost of raising exception in Python is low readability, and uh, the performance would be fine. And uh, lack of the lack of DCF method in Python is also a factor, uh, but if there are such methods, uh, they would be abusive. New safe means uh, a method that does not uh, raise an exception when passed now. Okay. The next is callable. Uh, it can be used uh, when writing functions that take a function as an argument, such as decorator functions. Uh, in fast API or Flask, you can see it. You've probably seen it. Okay. It's a validation functions to uh, passing JSON. Yes, last is last genics is user defined types. It is uh, typically declared in, by inheriting from uh, installation. This example is defining generic uh, mapping type. And this is use case. It is in definition, uh, please note that uh, the key type, this key type is same type. And value type is also same type. So this, 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 this value type. And this class that can be used as the, like this. 
X is arguments, type arguments. This, this, this X is also same type. And Y, Y, this Y, and this Y is different type, but Y is also same. For just break, uh, let me let give me one more, more promotion about PyCon JP twenty twenty one. Okay, PyCon JP twenty twenty was held in online. The this photo, this picture is from the toast of the party. Yes, there. Our website and the blogs, Twitter links, this. The date of conference or is October 15 and 16. And we haven't decided we what will we do for sprint and training yet. Now, and um, now the call for proposal is over. We are currently in the process of review and adoption for talk. These are about the venues. The venue or could be both or online or hybrid. Yes, if it is a uh, on-site venue, it has an on-site venue. Uh, it is Versal Kanda in Tokyo. Uh, on site venue starts the afternoon of uh, Friday, uh, 15, 15th. The day one start, start in the afternoon. It, and um, sorry for it may change in depending on the COVID-19 situation. And Saturday, day two, is all online day. Now, sponsor application, second time, is open. As, uh, for the latest information, please check out uh, blog and Twitter. And please share this slide page is more Pythonista and you. Okay, thanks. Okay, let's uh, back uh, to the my talk. It's a update overview and how to use new features in all the versions. Thank you for clapping. <laughs> It is there recently Python updates. In 2021, yeah, this year, uh, October 4th, it will be released Python 3.10. About now, it's a uh, bit for status. It's a big main new feature pattern matching. And 3.9, 3.8, 3.7, and 3.6. And uh, let's uh, talk about Danda feature, which has uh, come up many times before. Modules and method is Danda underscore, double underscores, uh, to uh, either and the pronouns, pronounced Danda. Uh, it exists for backward compatibility. Using typing uh, new features in older versions, write a from Danda future import annotations. It describes when dispatcher changes are introduced and become mandatory. Uh, and in addition to typing, uh, it was also used to call C.x features. For example, uh, print functions, unicorn details. And 
Last, uh, next, last topic is new features in Python 3.10. Yes. Will be released October this year. It is a difficult feature. So I'm not sure I can, I can explain it to you. Sir. Okay. It is uh, come up many times before. It, it is a union type operator. Using vertical bar or pipe, uh, you can shorthand, you can use shorthand for typing dot union. You can also, it, uh, when asking, is instance. Yes, uh, it's a bit useful. It increases readability. And this topic, this feature is di very difficult. It's parameter specification variables. Motivation is here. Uh, trying to uh, write a generic decorator, it's difficult to write the type. It uh, needed a way to represent the function that has the same arguments as the specified function. Yes, approach uh, adding uh, an argument a type called parameter specification solve this the problem. It can be used with callable behaves like a generic called object. Yes, uh, you can think of an uh, argument a version of type bar. It is an example. It is uh, also a decorator function for other uh, logging, adding log, logging logger. So please note that this, uh, you can use uh, ps dot args like this. Keyword args are also available. It is very difficult. Type areas. Motivation is here. Uh, we considering global variables uh, with a type hint, so we type areas. This tends to the cause problem with forward reference, for references, uh, scoping, and more. So we are going to make it possible to expect the uh, define type areas. You can still define type areas uh, in productivity. Um, Approach and uh, example. Adding new typing dot type areas. Write a variable of type areas type like like type uh, like this. Variables are uh, defined a uh, global level uh, considering type areas. Yes, it works. Using for the reference, uh, you can write like this, using double quote. Example is here. You can, please note that this, you can use user defined class using uh, double quote. Uh, for example, such as uh, at, the, at static method decorator, uh, you can use it useful. And next is user-defined type class. Motivation is here. Uh, it is similar to the pattern matching. The type checker tools such as MyPy uh, use technique called uh, type narrowing to determining uh, narrow, type narrowing to determine the type of information. Uh, this is a uh, an example, uh, the if statement uh, and is now uh, used to automatically narrow type, narrow down type, the type. Yes, uh, is now is type card. Yes, if it's if statement, uh, the value of 
narrowed to str or the AS statement uh, the type of bar is narrowed to now however uh, that will not work as instead of if user function is used yes uh, it will uh, uh, it will occur an error but uh, type guards uh, allows you to define user defined type guards with the ty new typing by using user defined type guards it is easier to get support for type narrowing so it is example defining like this Yes, please note that the type guards. This is valid. And uh, also works like this. This is two element in tuple. Yes, it will work. It's very fine. Happy. Uh, the type checker assumes that the first argument matches the uh, specified in type guards. In if in the function returns uh, true. Yes. In the above example, uh, let that the uh, is a pass passes is str to list will be test treated as str list into str. Note that uh, this function returns false. Type knowing not will be performed. In the next example, uh, if is the two element tuple, yes, this block, the type knowing to the type narrow to str, 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 so it is. Uh, as the result of type narrowing, why in the ls code block, s code block, the type remains unchanged. Yes, it is unchanged. And it is summary of my talk. First, I talked uh, about introduction motivation. Uh, let's starting uh, built in types. And next, uh, standard collection in lower case, we start lower case. And the second, uh, collect there are collections and genics. There are union, optional, collaborable, and user defined genics. And third topic is uh, update overview and how to use new features in older versions. And last is Python 3.10 styles, new features type hinting. There is four new features, new type union operator, parameter specification variables, type areas, and user-defined type class. And uh, this is thanks for reference to page. Okay, we look forward to seeing you at uh, again uh, Pi, at our conference, PyCon JP 2021. Thanks. Thank you very much for the talk. Um, you you have seen the uh, chat. Uh, you've got a lot of applause in the chat, and people yes. commented how well they liked your slides, and they were very interesting. So thank you very much. Yes, uh, we have time for questions, and okay. there is a question. Uh, let me just quickly get that on screen. Sure. 
Thanks. Create a banner. There we go. The question is, how do we use a type hinting of an undefined class? Mm -hmm. Type hinting or... Uh, uh, it is... Uh, got a uh, undefined class. Uh, I I not recommend it uh, to all of types define defining uh, i recommend uh, to that start with the uh, type uh, defining function define definition of function there is the is it is uh, answers correct okay. Okay, so we'll just leave this open. And there was one more question. Uh, like, if I use type hinting and return multiple values, should I explicitly wrap the returned values in a tuple? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, it is uh, uh, passing, uh, not... Uh, definition of function fun definition statement uh, if if in definition function definitions uh, so uh, you must uh, use tupper but uh, using unpack uh, unpack variables uh, you uh, you ma not must do it. Okay. Okay. Thank thank you very much again. I uh, really liked that you pointed out for which version of Python you can start using these new functions, and it really made sure that type hinting gets a big boost from three point nine, and it will be just great from three point ten. So thank yes. you very much for giving all the detailed information. And yes, let's sure. give you an, another applause from here to you. <laughs>